What is up, guys? This is Chase Oliver, 68 here. Um, bringing you Chase Oliver's Q&A episode 2. And if you guys are wondering where's Friday Night Smackdown review for tonight, I will not be doing Smackdown reviews for the next couple weeks. Reason being is I support my high school football team, um, my old high school, because, you know, I, I love the kids on the team from last year. They were great kids, and I want them to do nothing more than succeed. And the next two games that are going to be happening are big rival games. So I definitely do not want to miss that, you know. It's, they're going to be good games. So, anyways, this is a question um, answers number two, and let's get started. AWA Champ six one nine asks, and he actually has two questions. Chase, where do I ask questions for your Q and A videos? Well, that's a great question, AWA Champ, because every one of you can ask questions for my videos in the comment section down below. That's right, guys. All you have to do is comment a question, and I'll read it off, and yeah, we will make this interesting. Um. Next up from AW Champ 619s is um, what are your predictions for either the Super Bowl or the World Series? Uh, I'll take a crack at the World Series. I don't know much about baseball. If you know me personally, baseball is not one of my favorite sports, but I can take a crack and you know guess the World Series. For the National League, I probably see the Phillies going in. You know, to be honest, Phillies are right now the best overall team in baseball. They have the best overall offense in baseball and best pitching in baseball. Um, I don't really see that much weakness in the Phillies at all. You know, they could slip up. Who knows? You know, always the best team kind of slips up in the World Series. But this time, it looks like the Phillies could easily make the World Series. And for the AL, you know, there's a lot of good teams in the AL that could probably make it. But I'm gonna go with either my my best friend, one of my best friends, Josh's team, the Red Sox. Yeah, I'm gonna say the Red Sox just because all I hear from Josh is the Red Sox and how good they are. And you know, watching some some clips of the Red Sox this year, they do look pretty damn good, their offense is looking nice, their pitching seems okay from what I'm seeing, so, you know, I'm going to go with the good old Boston Red Sox, and my sleeper team for the playoffs is the Detroit Tigers, I believe the Detroit Tigers made the World Series, do not quote me because I do not know much about baseball, in 2007, and I could easily see them, you know, probably making it again and actually winning because I believe they fell short to the Mariners I can't remember but it was like some Florida team I think it was the Mariners I do not know much about baseball so I was just taking a stab at it but I knew it didn't make the World Series one year I it was just weird um for the net and also Super Bowl predictions I already predicted Atlanta versus Patriots and I see hot Atlanta winning but the Pats look unstoppable right now, and Hotlander had a bad start, so we will have to wait and see about that. Um, so let me scroll up and look for more questions. Um, and multi boom master, and I'm sorry for doing to, to you this multi boom master. I love you and all, but this was funny. He asked me WrestleMania or Super Bowl, and then Carolina C J Sam, C J M. I mean, sorry, he said Super Bowl, <laughs> really, and he said, oops. Super Bowl, I mean, multi boom master replied, and um, he. So the question is, WrestleMania or Super Bowl? Uh, you know, really, to be honest, I'm, I it, I love wrestling. Don't get me wrong, you know, wrestling is a main topic on my channel. But to be honest, Super Bowl has always been an entertaining game to me. The past five Super Bowls, you know, I, I've I've been into the games. Whether it's been like you know, Bears Colts wasn't really that close of a game, but in the beginning it was very good, you know. Giants Patriots that was one of my favorite Super Bowls of all time especially in my day and age growing up um, Cardinals Cardinals Steelers great game um, what else were what other games were there that were very good Seahawks Steelers that was a good game yeah I know I'm not going in order um, god dang I'm trying to think Saints Colts was a good game in my opinion until the fourth quarter and then it was just like eh, whatever uh, Packers Steelers this year was a pretty damn good game you know there, there's always been good games for the Super Bowl that, and I don't feel disappointed at the Super Bowl I go yes I just watched a good game even if I do not care for the teams as for Wrestlemania there's always some disappointments especially this last Wrestlemania which to me was not so good especially being a big four and being Wrestlemania it just felt like this one was building up to next year you know 26 was pretty good um, 25 oh, I don't know even uh, <coughs> 25 24 was all right 23 was okay 22 was pretty good and 21 was very good so like to be honest wrestlemania kind of has like this slope while the super bowl is keeps getting better and better so 
I'm gonna have to go with Super Bowl. You know, that's just me. So, yeah, I like the Super Bowl a little bit more. Declan's Wrestling Talk asks, and welcome back, Declan. I saw you made a new YouTube video, and I watched it. Do you think Drew McIntyre has what it takes to be in the main event? Yes, he does. He has all the great in-ring skills. He has good mic skills. You know, Drew McIntyre has that certain look to him where he could be a main event superstar. It all depends on if the WWE wants to push him as a superstar. And speaking of that, this is what Drew Declan also asked. Do you think WWE will push him? You know, at this point, WWE seems like they don't care about Drew McIntyre. And, you know, I just don't understand why they do not care about him. You know, he's a great talent. He's someone that I would try to push because I feel like he has a good future. I I think they should try to push him, maybe change him out to babyface. You know, if he doesn't have um, the the look to be a babyface, then why not try to make him a heel? You know, there there is a mid-card division on Raw that is lacking a good heel. Um, of Like, you know, we do got Ziggler, but we need a compliment to Ziggler. I don't really see Swagger being that compliment to Ziggler. And there's no one really else that you could look at because Miz and R-Truth are kind of in the tag team division. Or hell, even form a tag team with Drew McIntyre. Find a partner for him and work with that. You know, do something with him to actually make him worth a while. Because before, this guy used to be Intercontinental Champion. And a guy, many were saying, a future world champion. And now it's just like this guy is known as maybe Mr. Future Endeavored, which I do not want to see. And the final question for this Q&A. The Wrestling Wizard asks, okay, I have a question. What is the better group, Immortal or La Familia? Ha! <laughs> hmm. Funny question there. Um. Hmm. La Familia had Chavo, Zack Ryder, Kurt Hawkins as the Edgeheads, Vicky and Edge, and Immortal has had. Fuck. Hogan, Bischoff, AJ Styles. Yes, I'm counting when Fortune and Immortal were together. AJ Styles, Robert Roode, James Storm. Um. Kazaria, Matt Morgan, Bully Ray, Jeff Hardy, Matt Hardy, um, Gunner, I think Murphy, no, 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 Murphy was not even part of it, Gunner, did I say Bully Ray? I'm going to say Bully Ray again then, um, Abyss, and Steiner, and you know, uh, uh, Flair, Angle now, Jarrett, Anderson for two weeks, <laughs> Uh, to me, I enjoy La Familia. I think La Familia is a little bit better than Immortal. Immortal just seems like an NWO ripoff, and it just seems so out of whack. You know, the members are so confusing. The members come and go, and it just isn't a good faction. At least La Familia was a good faction. You know, you got Chavo to hold the ECW title. Edge was holding the world title strap and representing as the good leader for La Familia. And, you know, overall, I just feel like, you know, La Familia did a better job as a faction than Immortal, because Immortal is just a clusterfuck right now. And I believe the actual members of Immortal today are Angle, Jarrett, both of them, Karen and Jeff. They're, they're, they count as one person for me. Um, Gunner, Bully Ray, Steiner, and uh, Abyss. I think he's still an Immortal. And then Hogan and Bischoff, but whatever. So, yeah, that, that was pretty much it for this Q&A video. Thank you guys for, who asked the questions. If you guys want to ask me questions, remember, comment section down below your questions, and I will answer them. And someone asked me an NFL prediction in my Q&As. Uh, that's what my NFL prediction videos are for. So if you want me to predict a game for next week, comment on that video. And, yeah, pretty much that's about it. Um, follow me on Twitter, ChaseOliver68. Add me on Skype, Chase Oliver 68. Everything's Chase Oliver 68, guys. Um, pretty much that's about it. So I say peace. Hope you guys enjoy your Friday night. Have fun. Be safe, like always. And yeah, that's it.